Hi, I'm Minister Coleman, and this is International Sunday School Storytime. Today's lesson can be found in the book of Matthew, the 15th chapter, and also in the book of Mark, the 7th chapter. Let's go in. Jesus and his disciples traveled to the area of Tyre and Sidon. They stayed in a house, hoping that no one would hear their presence. But a Greek woman in the area found out that Jesus was staying there and came to see him. She was in great distress and wailed at the top of her voice, Son of David, be merciful to me, my Lord. I have a daughter who is possessed by a demon and is suffering terribly. But Jesus did not reply to her. After a while, his disciples went to Jesus and complained, Send that woman away. She is bothering us with all her begging. She does nothing but rant and rave. In reply, Jesus said, I was sent to save only the lost sheep of Israel. But the woman flung herself on her knees in front of him and begged again, Lord, please help me save my daughter from this evil spirit. It would not be right to take bread from the children and throw it to the dogs to eat, Jesus said to her. What you have said is true, the woman admitted. But then she added, however, when crumbs and scraps fall from the table, then even the dogs are allowed to eat them up. Jesus smiled and spoke one more time to the woman. Your reply shows how great your faith is. Go home. Your request has been granted. So the woman got up and rushed straight home. When she got there, she found that her little girl was lying quietly on her bed and that the demon had left her, just as Jesus had said. Shortly after, Jesus left that area and traveled back to the shores of Lake Galilee. He went up on a mountainside and huge crowds of people came to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, people who could not speak, and many others. They came to Jesus and he healed them all. The lame could walk, the blind could see. People who had never been able to speak suddenly found that they could talk and the cripple were made strong. Then all the people gave thanks to God and praised him for what he had done for them. Our thought to remember is to live by great faith. Thank God for our representation of this Canaanite woman in our lesson that not only did she have persistent faith, but she also showed us the power of worship. We thank God for Jesus that he did not penalize this lady because of her gender, because of her nationality, because of her culture, but he embraced and rewarded her faith. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. May God bless you. And may God bless the reading of this word in our heart.